Hello everyone, it's Living Online here for Server Pro, and today I'll be showing you how to install Bedrock add ons on your server the easy way. Now, before we begin, I'd like to mention that we've actually made multiple videos on how to install Bedrock add ons on your server, but those methods had more difficult steps in them. So, we decided to create this video for people who were still struggling. This is the easiest method to install the add ons. Keep in mind, this method still has a few steps in it because Mojang has not made installing add ons simple, so please make sure to follow each step carefully. I'll be showing you how to install add ons on both brand new worlds and existing worlds. Timestamps will be in the description. To download your Bedrock add-ons, visit the link in the description to access this site called MCPEDL. Here you can search for whatever add-on you'd like. One thing you need to be considerate of is the game version. Make sure that the add-on is compatible with your game version. Another compatibility factor you should be aware of is that some add-ons do not work together at all. This is because the add-ons change or edit the same files and without knowing how to code, it's not possible to make them compatible. However, you'll be able to see if they're not compatible later on in the process when testing them. On the site, sometimes you may need to wait and watch an ad before downloading. Different add-on authors use different hosting services for their add-ons, so each one will be different when downloading. But once your add-ons are downloaded, let's install them and make sure they work. Once you've downloaded the add-ons, you'll have your .mc add-on or .mc pack add-on files. If you can't see the extensions, click on options near the top of your file explorer. Then go into the view tab and finally check the file name extensions box. After you should be able to see them. Make sure you open Minecraft and that it's on the main screen like so. Now go back to those add-ons you downloaded and double click them. Now in game it should say importing your add-ons. After that it'll tell you if it's successful or not. If it's not successful, that means that the add-ons cannot be imported into your game version. If it is successful, then you're good to proceed to the next steps. Firstly, I'll show you how to install add-ons onto a brand new world, and then I'll show you how to install them onto an existing world. Timestamps will be shown in the description for each section. Now once you have your add-ons installed on your client, make sure that they appear in your worlds. Again, firstly, I'll show you how to do this on a new world, and then on an existing world. Start by creating a new world, just like so. Name it whatever you'd like, then make sure that all the options are enabled for the add-ons to work. For example, some add-ons require you to have experimental features turned on, so please check that first, it should say it on the download page of each add-on. If you're not sure how to enable experimental features, it should be on the experiments tab of world creation. There will be a heading called add-on creators, under that make sure to enable all options. Then go to the behavior pack option on the left here and activate all the add-ons that you want. It may say that achievements will be turned off, that's fine. When enabling add-ons, you cannot have the achievements turned on. Then, when you have a behavior packs activated, go into the resource packs tab. Here, make sure that the matching resource packs are also activated. Finally, once you've activated the ones you need, press create. Give it a bit of time to create the world with the add-ons. Once it's created and you've joined the world, make sure you check all the add-ons are working as intended. As you can see, all my add-ons work correctly and I have the new features and items. Now let's upload this world to our server. Firstly, exit the world and then press the edit button for that world. Scroll all the way to the bottom and press export world. Make sure you save this somewhere where it's easy to find, like your desktop. Now let's upload it to the server. What you have to do is head over to server.pro. Open your server control panel and make sure that your server is stopped. Just to remind you, make sure that the server version is the same as your game version, otherwise this will not work. Now go to the files tab and then into the worlds folder. Here press create near the top right and create a folder. Name it the same as your world name in game. Then go into that folder and simply drag the .mc world file into here. Once it's done fully uploading, select it and rename it to have the same extension as .zip instead of .mc world. Finally, select it once again and press unpack archive. It will take some time to unpack, but once it's done, the file should look similar to this. The last thing you need to do now is to make sure that the server knows to start up this world with the add-ons. For that, you'll need to remember the name of your world folder. Go back to the Files tab and open the server.properties file. Here, look for the option called Level Name. Simply change the text after the equals to whatever you called your world folder. In my case, it's My World. I'm also going to be changing the game mode of my server to Creative so I can show the add-ons easier. Then, save the file and start up your server. You can see in the console tab when your server is fully booted. If it is, you can join the server by copying the hostname and port and entering them in game, just like on the screen.
As you can see, when I joined the server, I have the add-ons installed. Now, let me show you how to install add-ons on an existing world. Let's say you already have another world on your server that you play on. What we'll have to do is download it. So, go to the Files tab on your control panel, then into the Worlds tab. Select the world you want and download it by pressing the download button at the top right. This will download the world in a .tar archive. We will now convert this into a .mc world file. First, let's unpack it by opening it up with something like 7-zip or WinRAR. Then, unpack the world somewhere where it's easy to find, like your desktop. Once you've unpacked it, it will be a folder with files inside it. Next, Next, go into that world folder and select all the files inside. Right click and add the files to an archive. However, instead of choosing the extension .zip, we will change it to .mc world. This will make it so that we can simply double click the world file and it will be imported into the game. Make sure that your Minecraft game is open when doing this and as you can see, when double clicking the world file, it gets imported into the game. Next, let's install the add-ons onto that world, just like before. So now that the world is imported, click on the edit button to add the add-ons. Go into the behavior packs tab near the left and activate all the behavior packs that you want. Then go into the resource packs tab and do the same. Make sure that all resource packs that match the behavior packs are installed. Finally, once you've activated the ones you need, make sure that if the add-ons need experimental features, you turn that on too. To find out if you need experimental features turned on, make sure to refer to the download page of the add-on you want on your world. When you enable experimental features, the game will create another copy with the features turned on. All you have to do is edit that copy of the world, finish enabling all experimental features and then join the world to test the add-ons. As you can see, all my add-ons work correctly and I have the new features and items. I also have previous builds here, so you know that this is an existing world. Now let's move on to uploading this world onto our server. On your world list, press the edit button for the world you want and scroll all the way to the bottom. Then press export world. Make sure you save the world safe somewhere where it's easy to find, like your desktop. Now let's upload it onto the server. Firstly, you want to head over to server.pro and access your control panel. Make sure that your server is offline, then go to the files tab and then into the worlds folder. Press create near the top right and create a folder, name it the same as your world name in game. Then go into that folder and simply drag and drop the .mc world file into here. Once it's done fully uploading, select it and rename it to have the extension as .zip instead of .mc world. Finally, select it once again and press Unpack Archive. It will take some time to unpack, but once it's done, the file should look similar to this. The last thing you need to do now is make sure that the server knows to start up this world with the add-ons. So, go back to the Files tab and open the server.properties file. Here, look for the option called Level Name. Simply change that to whatever you called your world folder. In my case, it's Summer 2022. I'm also going to change the game mode of my server to Creative so I can show the add-ons easier. Once you're finished, save the file and start up your server. You can see in the console tab when your server is fully booted. Now join the server by copying the host name and port and entering them in game, just like so. And as you can see, when I join the server, I have all the add-ons installed. Keep in mind that some add-ons only show up when you create a brand new world like in the previous method. Also, if for some reason one of your add-ons is not working, even after enabling experimental features, that means another add-on is conflicting with it like we mentioned. Well, that's it for this video. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them down below. And if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to see more from my channel. If you have any further questions or problems, don't hesitate to contact us. We will leave a link in the description. Thank you for watching.